Hi everyone, here are my 10 tips on Matalyzer. Let's go for the first tip. After you're done with your material, you may want to add a new layer for the dust or something else. Uh, this is annoying to manually add a mix layer and then connect each link. To speed up your workflow, you can simply select the principal BSDF, press F and add a mix layer. And this will automatically connect it to the other one. Tip number two. When you're doing complex materials, uh, you may want to have a layer affected by multiple masks. There is only one mask input in the mix layer node, so you will need to mix them together beforehand. To do this, you can use the lighten node to add them together, the difference node to subtract them, and the mat mix node to add them together with a ratio. Tip number three. It can be complicated to find your nodes when you have a lot of nodes and your material becomes more and more complex. To make it easier, Materializer is adding your new nodes next to the selected one. So make sure you selected the node you are working on before adding a new one. Tip number four. We could realize that we inverted two layers and we want them the other way around. To fix this, select those two layers you want to switch, press F and click on this icon. Tip number five. If you want to add a mask to a mix layers, instead of pressing F, add a mask and connect it manually to the mix layer, you can simply select the mix layers before, then press F and add a mask. This will automatically connect it to it. Tip number six. To make it easier, Fluent Materializer has a metal colors library. Uh, avoiding you to seek the right color, you can just add the metal color and you have the correct one. Tip number seven. When you are making a destroyed material, it feels a bit odd to have a perfect paint color on the object. Uh, to make it more realistic, you can play with the map color of the main layer. All you need to do is add a grunge, plug it into the map input, and play with the value, saturation, and new settings of the layer. Tip number eight. You can create a really cool effect as if the object was burned on one side of it with a grunge gradient. So go to grunges, add a grunge gradient and plug it into the mask. You can rotate it on X, Y or Z axis and change the Z settings to get the result you want. Don't forget to plug the normal so it has this burnt effect. Tip number nine. By default, the edges and the cavities are uniforms. In order to make them a bit more realistic, you can use a grunge and connect it to the texture input of the mask. And this will make it a little bit more random. Then you can play with the coverage and the seed of this grunge mask. Last tip. Because we all work on different projects with different scales, we sometimes need to manually change the scale of the materializer node every time we add a new one. Uh, for this problem, you can just change the general scale in the Fluent and Panel in the shader editor. This will automatically apply the scale 
when you add a new node. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.